So these giving it between 0 and 360 inclusive. So part A, tan theta equals 0 0.4. So theta equals tan to the minus 0 0.4. So the theta equals on my calculator that says 21.8014. And that repeats every 180 degrees. So I'm going to add 180 n to it. And now I can work out what I've got. So theta could be 21.8. Or it could be, if, if n's 1, it could be 180 plus that, which is 201.8 degrees. If n were 2, that would be 360. That would be 381. And it can't be because it's got to be less than or equal to 360. So that's that one done. Secondly, b. I've got sine of 2 theta equals 0.4. So 2 theta equals sine to the minus 1, 0.4. And that means 2 theta equals, and that's 23.578. Or, let's have a quick look at the, the unit circle. Unit circle, like so. That's the sine axis. And it says sine... 0.4, so 0.5 is about there, so 0.4 is something like that. I've either got this one here, or I've got that one there. So I've got the angle, or 180 minus that angle, because the angle's the same as that, minus 23.578. And each of those repeats every 360 degrees. So 360n plus 360n like so and now that now i can divide by two to get theta equals 11.789 plus that's now repeating every 180 n now if you don't put this 360 in the moment that sine to the minus one disappears so the moment that you get rid of that if you don't put in the plus 360s and the plus 360 ends then you won't divide by two and you'll end up missing some solutions very important so or 180 minus 23.78, divide that by 2, which is 78.21, and that repeats every 180 n degrees as well. And now we can work out, we sort of fluctuate between one and the other. So theta equals, the lowest it could be is 11 point, what's it called, 11.8 degrees. Or it could be this one over here, 78.21, or 78.2. Or it could be when n's 1 here, so 180 plus that, which is 191.8. Or finally, it could be this one here, when n's 1 here, so 180 plus that, which is 258.2. And that's, well, I suppose it's all degrees, obviously. Uh, and that's done.